The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, good evening, everyone. Here is a look at what your local weather authority is tracking for the next couple of days. Wednesday and Thursday morning rain primarily for the Roanoke Valley and east. Then a strong wind and clearing skies late Thursday into Friday and breezy and warm for Easter weekend. Radar not showing that much going on right now. We had a lot of showers earlier on this afternoon into the parts of the evening. All of that rain has since shifted way out to the east and what we're left with are some lighter showers near Christiansburg, Galax near mouth of Wilson and two parts of Hillsville as well. Also just a shower building through parts of Withville at this time. Future tracker continues to show some of these showers way out there in the NRV track further and further to the east as we go further into the night. Here's a look at 2 a.m. Parts of the Roanoke Valley, the Highlands, and even parts of Southside and Lynchburg getting some light rain. Then by 6 a.m., I talked about a short wave trough way down there to our south over top of the Carolinas. What that is, it's basically a ripple in the atmosphere that allows rising motion to happen. So that's how we can get uh, some of this rain to develop. So by 6 a.m., a lot of the heavier stuff in and around near Amherst County moving into parts of Nelson County. Then by 8 a.m., some more heavy rain starts to tag parts of Southside, and it continues to build off towards the east. But right now, temperatures are fairly calm out there. We're going to stay fairly mild thanks to the cloud cover that we're seeing and thanks to all of the warmth that we saw earlier this afternoon. Temperatures across South Boston, Danville got to about 60 degrees. Other spots, not so warm. So we are tra trapping in some of that moisture some of that heat and so our temperatures are not going to be cooling off that much tonight. So a mild night in store temperatures by the time we wake up on our Wednesday morning anywhere from 40 to 48 degrees. And as we have a look at our Wednesday planner, we are starting off the day mostly cloudy, but progressively throughout the day, our skies will begin to clear up from time to time. So we could even see uh, some sprinkles of sunshine for our Wednesday daytime high temperature right here in the Roanoke Valley about 63 degrees depending on the cloud cover may be hard to get to 63 may be very easy if the sun sun comes out to play a little bit longer than expected. Now let's pick up right where we left off for our Wednesday mostly cloudy skies 9 a.m. A couple of heavy showers tagging parts of south side throughout lunch hour and even getting into parts of Lynchburg. Now notice as we go further and further that streamline moisture still over parts of this region by 5 p.m. Then once we get into the overnight hours, a lot of the moisture starts to build off towards the east. But notice our skies, mostly cloudy skies throughout Wednesday. Then on Thursday morning, early on, our winds shift out of the north and wet. Cloudy for a little bit, partly cloudy skies return. Then we clear up, then our winds become howling. So that's what we're going to be dealing with on Thursday. Now I talked about rain tagging parts of Lynchburg and south side for about the next two days or so, basically in the same spot. Rain totals at this time anywhere from three tenths of an inch all the way up to about a half of an inch. High pressure builds in for Friday, windy at times heading into Saturday as well. Then on Easter Sunday, we're actually going to turn fairly warm as temperatures are going to be near 70 degrees. Here are those wind gusts on Friday, 40 to 50 mile per hour winds expected for your good Friday. So you're going to have to be dealing with that, although we will have some nice clear skies from time to time. And then here's your Easter weekend forecast recap 73 for Saturday, 74 for Sunday with a chance of a few isolated showers as we have a look at your Senate forecast.